Hi, uh, my name is Eugene and I'm a general and colorectal surgeon. Um, I have special interest in minimally invasive surgery which includes uh, laparoscopic and robotic surgery. When we talk about laparoscopic surgery, um, I think the first thing we have to understand is what open surgery is. Traditional way of surgery is actually called open surgery, where a big cut is made in the abdomen. Um, and uh, this cut allows us to put our hands into the abdomen um, and with our instruments to do the surgery that's required, be it a hernia repair or removing a colon cancer, for example. Um, in laparoscopic surgery, uh, what is done is instead of this big cut, uh, what we use is a small little pot. We blow up the abdomen and use these pots to do the surgery instead, avoiding a large incision. The advantages of keyhole surgery actually um, refer to the advantages that we get when we don't have the large wound that is required for an open operation. Um, the advantages of this would include less pain, uh, faster recovery, um, as a result less hospital stay, and um, also a reduced risk of wound complications such as um, wound infection and hernias as well. Studies that have been done actually show that open surgery and laparoscopic surgery have the same long-term outcome. Laparoscopic surgery actually has the advantage of a faster recovery with all the benefits or rather having the same outcome as open surgery as well. As a result, um, laparoscopic surgery has actually become standard of care for many of the operations that we do today. So for laparoscopic surgery, uh, we use many different instruments. Um, however, the key ones that we use mainly are firstly the camera, which allows us eyes into the abdomen uh, for us to see whatever we are doing because there is now no big cut. And of course, um, other instruments that we use include the same instruments um, that we use in uh, open surgery except that they are miniaturized. So we have a miniature grasper, we have a miniature scissors and other instruments that we use for dissection as well. Of course, not all surgeries can be done uh, using the laparoscopic method. Um, sometimes open surgery is still required. Um, for example, in patients with multiple surgeries before, or if um, they have uh, had any uh, emergency surgery that needs to be done, or if they're not fit enough to do laparoscopic surgery. Uh, sometimes the tumours are so large that uh, it, we will need a large incision to remove it anyway. Um, so in these patients, actually open surgery is required. But of course, as much as possible, if we can have the advantages of doing laparoscopic surgery, we will very much prefer this for our patients.